What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I have another interesting video coming to you from prison. It's definitely not your average cooking video or dancing with shanks or showing off your cell phones. It's nothing like that at all, ladies and gentlemen, so prepare yourself for something very different. Now, I did a video yesterday with the guy with the 60-inch TV touchscreen. Look, that shit got me, man. Someone said, Dad, that ain't no touchscreen, bro. He's just pressing the button while the guy with the controller presses the button to go do whatever it's supposed to do. <laughs> that shit got me. I said, oh, damn, I got to change up my title again. Hey, I don't know if y'all noticed, but I changed my titles up probably like 30 times in one day. My damn channel so bootleg, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how we made it close to 500K. That's right. We only need like 100 more subs. And then once we get to that 500K, it's going to be a million. Watch how fast this shit grows after we break the 500k. Mark my words, it's exactly what I said in the beginning when there was only two prison channels out there. And people saying I'm copying them, I'm not gonna make nothing. Well guess what? I did. I did it. And we're going on 500k on our way to a million. But this is an early thank you for the 500k to all my viewers. We're probably gonna break it uh, sometime throughout the day today. So I thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. Y'all's views mean the world to me, but y'all are slacking on that like button. On average, we get at least 20,000 views a video, for the most part. Why the hell do we not have at least 10,000 likes? So hit that like button, subscribe, notification bell. Hopefully you enjoy yourself with this video. It's definitely different. Let's get right into it. The Trenches Store 2020 fashion show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> These fools got a damn fashion show going on in prison. Are you ready? Because some of this gear is way better than what I got in my damn closet, man. I'm like, what the f***'s going on here? Get girls but in a gallus. So shit but in a dealer. I held a gun but in a killer. Can I keep it any realer? Get girls but in a gallus. So shit but in a dealer. I held a gun but in a killer. Look, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. That shit's fresh as hell. I don't know what that TT means on the side. Hopefully it ain't no gang shit, man. Because I like it. I want to wear it. But I don't want to be a part of no gang. But look, look, look. Those are the state issue stripes on the side of his sleeves. I can almost guarantee 100%. Those are on their state pants in this prison, I believe, have the blue stripes. So those came from the pants. They tied it into some kind of gray sweatshirt, maybe. Because I know they sell gray sweatshirts on Canteen. And if you look close, it looks like the legs came from his pants that he's wearing now see how they're cut off the legs are cut off and the sweats are sewn to it those are the state pant legs on his arms all they did was tailor fit this shit to their bodies and sewed them back together it's amazing it's amazing man and those nikes it looks like he's wearing some nikes that you can buy from uh canteen you can you can buy some pretty nice all white nikes from canteen man they got into detail with this shit look 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 at the seams and stuff I mean, they got the fluff on the outside of the seam. I mean, this shit's legit. Whoever's making this stuff, he definitely has a future in fashion, man. And that's a fact. Hopefully, you get out and make your own clothing line, bro. Get girls but in a gallus. So shit but in a dealer. I held a gun but in a killer. Can I keep it any realer? Get girls but in a gallus. So shit but in a dealer. I held a gun but in a killer. Can I keep it any realer? So in this one, you can see it's kind of reversed. The last one... The pants he was wearing, the top of them were the state-issued pants, and the bottom of them were sweats. This one switched. The top is sweats, bottom of them is regular pant legs, and you can tell with the blue stripe. It looks like they took some of the blue stripe from the pants and added it to some kind of t-shirt. Looks like they might have cut the collar off and then cut it straight down the middle. Oh, that's a state prison. <laughs> that's a state damn t-shirt. They issue blue jean jacket, cut up. Looks like he added a little bit of the sweatshirt. And, you know, sweatshirts don't give you no hoodies. So he probably uh, made that hoodie himself. If you look closely, it's probably not an official hoodie that you would buy from the store. That shit's clean, man. That shit's clean. You know, I used to know someone in prison. This guy was very different from the rest. 
It was a black dude, man, but he was a skater guy, right? And he would buy the skinniest jeans and jean jackets. He was really skinny, you know? He was really skinny, but he was going for that skater look. So he bought all this skin-tight shit in prison, even though he wasn't swinging that way. He just, that was his style. And he would rip it up, uh, mess up his Levi jacket so it had a lot of holes in it and stuff. And he was trying to be fashionably cool. So this is not the first time I've seen someone try to alter prison uniforms i mean anything other than the regular is amazing one time i cut my old jeans into jean shorts and went out to the prison yard they about put me in a hole behind that shit you can't have altered clothes ladies and gentlemen this is exactly how i used to iron clothes in prison right without an ironing board you just fold your clothes up put it underneath your mat and sleep on it next day they're gonna be pressed nice and flat Wrinkle free, except for maybe where you fold it. There'll probably be a couple creases there. But this guy right here looks like he's showing out because he has a lot of clothes stacked on top of each other. You can't throw your mat on that shit and sleep on it. It'll be, you know, the most you can, you have to have it level. If you're going to iron your clothes underneath your mat while you're sleeping, you got to have, you know, the whole bottom layer kind of layered or else you're going to have a lumpy ass mat. The trenches. That's what the TT stands for. Where are these draws? Don't tell me they're draws. Them jank some damn briefs, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Why you gotta... Man, you ain't gotta decorate your drawers, man. Well, unless you got them halfway off your ass, I guess you could show out. Show out a bit. <laughs> you got a whole setup, man. Hey, that vest right there is all right. Got that, got that, got that blue jeans. That's a, that's a vest, dog. Hey, that vest is all right, man, for the state jacket. Look, de hey, Department of Corrections. Who would wear that shit on the streets? That's a question I want to ask y'all. Oh, they got some orange. This might be a whole nother facility. Where did they get the orange from? Must have been workforce. Get girls but in a gallus. So shit but in a dealer. I held a gun but in a killer. Can I keep it any realer? Damn! Hey, <laughs> man, they can't be in prison. Dude got a Rolex. He got damn. He got a thirty thousand dollar charm cell phone. What is that? What is that? A uh, Red Lobster? And he's got the reversible Jody tracksuit, ladies and gentlemen. One of the most notorious outfits known to man. Do y'all know why it's so notorious? The reversible Jody tracksuit. The reason why this reversible track suit is just beneficial to any Jody out there is because you can put it on at any time. You take it off, it's inside out, it's actually inside in. You can run away nice and easy, put it on any which way you want, and you're going to be casual and fly, inside out or not. Reversible Jody track suit, ladies and gentlemen. He gets away real quick. I can see me wearing that right now with a pair of D's. Oh, yeah. That's right, dog. Or maybe I could put on these puppies with it. What y'all think? Huh? I could rock these with that outfit for sure. Now, if I really, really wanted to rock this suit right now, I'd pop these on. Boom. Boom. These shoes would go with that outfit like apples to apple pie, baby. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit more of inmate ingenuity coming from the penitentiary. Prison fashion. I've never seen anything like this in my life. But, hey, shout out to you, bro, whoever's making this stuff. At least you're putting your time into something a little more positive than what I was doing playing poker all damn day. <laughs> because I know for a fact putting that shit together, uh, it takes time. And I know if dude's still locked up. And he probably is because these are fairly fresh videos. He's probably got a ton of people hounding them for an outfit themselves, man. You know, because to look different in prison when everyone is exactly the same, it makes you feel good. But I hope you enjoyed. Do not forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell like I said in the beginning. Go check out all the links in the description of the video. Buy yourself some Lockdown 23 and 1 merchandise. Support the channel. One of the channels that started this shit.